So you got one of those Trustmaster T16000 Hotas. And your straddle becomes sticky. Or maybe it's too sticky from factory. And you look at all those YouTube videos and you can buy 40 bucks of stuff to use linear bearings and it's great. You can put tape on it or whatever. Maybe you just don't want to spend more money and you just want this to work pretty well. Turns out you can adjust it on it's very easy. Just need a screwdriver or a drill if you're lazy. Remove all the screws on the back plate. Just have one remaining here. We don't lose them. Remove the back plate. This is this. Make sure the rails are well lubricated. You can use any kind of grease, automotive is fine. Whatever you have. All you have is olive oil. This probably works, but probably stinks, so I wouldn't recommend it. But you can. And then look at the sliding plate. So we have seven screws. So on each side to hold the plastic plate against the rail. And then one on this metal plate, I guess. This one is used to add friction. And then you have the eight screws that's just here to get the little arm moving, uh, which is linked to a potentiometer here. That's how it knows where you're at. So all you have to do is first adjust all the screws, or screw them in, hand tight to the maximum. This ensures that everything's well calibrated. Then for all of the screws, just go one quarter turn out. You want to make sure that the screw with the arm with the washer has a washer that's loose. That means it's definitely free. You may want to do maybe a full turn out on the screw that's on the middle bar as this one just applies additional pressure. And then just test out. So I just did it on this one. And see if it's smooth enough for you. Usually, it's that smooth that it just falls on its own. And you will have very little play. That will be a little bit, right? It's not the most expensive joystick in the world. It's not using any bearings. But effectively, you want this to be a little bit looser than it is tight. And see this, it'll be perfect. And this lasts a long time, effectively. So those are supposed to be, uh, I'm sure, calibrated in factory. Um, you know how it goes. They make thousands and thousands of those. And they probably don't calibrate them all the same. When you're done, you're happy with it. Just uh, put it back, cable back. And just uh, screw the plate back on. Oh yeah, and those always fall off. But pay attention. You can eventually put it back in. <laughs> Screw it back in, and that's pretty much it. You get a pretty good struggle. Now, again, this is not as good as linear bearings, but for the price, it's pretty damn good. If you don't want to spend an additional 40 bucks on your additional 140 for the kit, that's the way to go. That's it.